am a breast cancer survivor of 40 years. And if you want to see a miracle, just look at me because I am still as happy as I can be. Early detection is the key for any type of cancer. I don't care what it is. And you can live with it. And I'm a young lady that's reaching the age of almost 80. <laughs> but God has been so good to me, and I'm so grateful and thankful. So please go and get early detection, and you can live a long life. Because we've been doing it for my sister, Elizabeth Martinez Guardiola. She has had breast cancer and she passed away in 2004. And we tried to keep her memory alive. We're doing it for her. I would say thank you for all the hard work, the, especially the people that Susan G. Coleman Foundation and all the tireless workers, because this takes a lot of time. All the volunteers, I'm overwhelmed. I've always been because Elizabeth was for helping, and uh, she tirelessly gave of herself. She never complained. She just kept on doing whatever needed to be done. Definitely be a part and, and spread the word about early detection and the race for the cure and Susan G. Komen Foundation. It's, it's changing. It's changing how we treat breast cancer. Well, my history started with the unlikely situation of a man developing breast cancer because these, these statistics would have you believe that this is a woman's disease. But it is not. About 2,000 men develop breast cancer each year. And so, therefore, I embark not only on the eradication of breast cancer, but also awareness that men should not die from breast cancer out of ignorance. And that's why I participate in Race for the Cure throughout the country. And what a delight it is to experience an inaugural race. I received word on August 31st that they didn't find any cancer in my cancer. Thank you for being here this morning. I could go on and on, but thank you. Thank you. There is life after breast cancer, and it's a wonderful life.